packet sorting has always been a labour-intensive and rather slow process. Following the automation of an increasing number of postal tasks, engineers at the Post Office Research Centre have developed an answer to faster and more efficient packet sorting. In the new automatic packet sorting machine, the work of a small but dedicated team has taken tangible form and it is now ready to meet the practical day-to-day -day demands of sorting officers both in the UK and internationally. Given the task of developing a machine that would reduce costs and improve productivity, the design team has produced a sorter which will easily meet peak demands for a high throughput. Although a degree of automation in packet sorting was introduced some time ago, the process has remained labour intensive. The very basic machines currently used involve primary and secondary sorting. By employing state-of-the-art technology in terms of industrial, ergonomic and engineering design, the new automatic packet sorting machine combines simplicity with reliability and flexibility at a speed not previously achieved. Whilst meeting the demand for a maximum sized machine which uses the minimum floor space, the designers have also managed to produce a machine which is user-friendly, safe and quiet in operation. Noise levels of around 65 dBA ensures that fatigue is kept to the minimum. The new machine achieves a fast and efficient operation in which secondary sorting is eliminated. The simplest input arrangement consists of each operator receiving packets on a facing table where the address is read and the postcode entered into the computer. On receipt of a valid code from the keyboard, a passing packet container is indicated to the operator by means of a short illuminated strip which travels along with the appropriate container. As the container moves through the workstation at an angle of 45 degrees to the vertical, the operator places the packet into it. Suspended beneath a precision track chain, the containers pass a scroll diverter mechanism controlled by the computer. This mechanism tilts the containers selectively so that they present their loads to the requisite side of the chain path. This maximizes the use of available space as the packet is discharged either side of the track path when a door at the bottom of the container opens and the packet slides safely into mailbags. Continuing on its way, the container is scrolled to the loading orientation by another diverter mechanism. Then, with the container door closed, it's ready to receive more packets from operators at the input suite, having come full circle. Indeed, the new machine can manage 1,000 items per individual man-hour at the inputs with the arrangement depicted, potentially rising to 3,000 per man-hour. By designing the new machine on modular principles, the input station is based on a one and a half meter unit, the machine can be tailor-made to fulfill needs within the smallest possible floor areas, making use of only six standard modules. Different machine layouts were part of the design philosophy, and the modular approach enables this to be achieved. Access modules facilitate freedom of movement in existing or new environments, while helping to make the maximum use of floor space. These modules sometimes house a scroll, either for tilting the containers or returning them to a uniform position for accepting mail from the operators. For those preferring low-level input, ascending and descending transition modules provide the interface between the different heights. Otherwise, a high-level input suite is provided. These modules can house the computer control equipment. End modules support the horizontal curves of the track, Bays beneath house pneumatic and electrical control equipment. On the prototype machine, the track turns through 180 degrees, but a module providing for a 90 degree turn is available for other machine layouts. The input desk suite provides working space for up to five operators. Up to four suites can be incorporated into the circuit if required. Each bag module is three meters in length and contains 20 discharge points. Up to 25 bag modules can be employed to provide a maximum capacity of 500 sorting destinations on each sorting plan. Each chute is fitted with a drawer slide from which the bag is hung. Easy and fast bag changing is a major feature of the design. Transparent covers on the top of the machine provide excellent visual access. Bag full sensors and warning beacons alert the operators into action. Containers will be recirculated in the event of a full bag retaining the packet to be discharged on the next or successive cycle. To change a bag, the operator pulls out the drawer, removes the full bag and replaces it with an empty one. The full bag is tied, labelled and sealed, ready for immediate dispatch. 
By selecting components of the highest reliability, the designers have produced a machine which calls for the minimum of routine maintenance and severely reduces the likelihood of a failure. The use of transparent, hinged machine covers, safety interlocked at low level, allow easy access to the packet transport. The conveyor chain incorporates sealed bearings and will last the lifetime of the machine. Extensive use of the module theme ensures that faulty items can be quickly removed and replaced. The electronic cubicles are easily removed. Circuit card crates are connected with high reliability plugs and sockets which facilitate their removal in minutes. Printed circuit cards are automatically tested by computer. A worm drive has been designed to cope with the maximum size of machine. The computers not only control the machine operationally, but provide important management data, beneficial in two ways. Towns and cities about to receive above average quantities of mail can be pre-warned to prepare correct staffing levels, while trend forecasting can be made easier by the use of data provided by the automatic packet sorting machine. Provision has been made to adapt the machine to voice recognition and barcode methods of input arrangements to allow higher throughputs to be achieved. The new machine is at the beginning of its design life, fully developed and ready to meet the needs of many postal authorities and industry in general.